have a, a place to live where you can be outside 10 months out of the year. We got bright blue skies, balmy weather, and of course, the grill. So we have a wonderful New York strip right here. We're gonna season this just with a little bit of pepper and some salt. We don't really need to do anything else to it because of just the inherent natures of this particular piece of meat. Basically, what you wanna do is take this piece of meat and put it down so it's at a, an angle to the actual grates itself. Now, a couple things you need to know about beef when you're cooking it. First of all, no matter how you might feel about wanting to turn that meat, you need to pay attention to the meat. The meat will tell you if it wants to be turned, meaning that if you try to turn it now, you'll see it might be sticking to the grates. That's the beef's way of telling you that it's not ready to turn yet. As this cooks, the protein will naturally shrink up, which will enable you to know that it's time to actually make that turn. The next thing you want to think about is how do you like your meat cooked? You need to be aware of how that piece of beef feels when it's raw to know by touch what it's going to feel like when it's to your desired doneness. And you need to do that by touch, like I said, not by cutting into the meat. Because when you cut into the meat, all you've done is created an evacuation chute for all those fabulous juices to go swimming out as fast as possible. So, here's what I'm gonna suggest you do. Practice at home with what it feels like. Put your hand out and touch your hand in a relaxed position and feel right here. Now, I didn't make this up. This is something I learned from someone else. This is what raw feels like, and that's exactly what this piece of meat feels like right here. But if I touch my first finger, my index finger, to my thumb, it will stiffen up a little bit, and that's what rare to medium rare feels like. Touching my middle finger will tell me what medium feels like. My ring finger puts me at medium well, and pinky, well, that's the way my dad likes his beef cooked, kind of on the medium well to overly well done side. While that's doing its thing over there, I just wanted to point out that I have my baked potato that you already saw me cook in the oven just sitting up on top on more of an indirect heat source just to get it nice and hot. Last but not least is our fabulous caramelized onion ragu that you made with me. So what I've done here is I've just taken it and put it on the heat of the burner right here just to rewarm it. Okay, so I'm going to take my meat now, I'm going to change direction and I'm going to go to a 10 o'clock. And by going to 10 o'clock now, I'm gonna be able to create those nice diamond marks that we enjoy so much. Once this has finished on this side, I'm gonna flip the meat over, and at that point, I'm gonna add my asparagus to the grill. Asparagus has been rubbed with a little bit of olive oil and seasoned with kosher salt. At that point, too, I will shut the lid and create more of an oven environment to take advantage of uh, the heat for my asparagus. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm really curious to see how we're doing here. So I'm gonna take a look at my meat first and see if it's ready to um, move over to the other side so we can finish diamond marking it. It is, I'm gonna give it a little touch and see how we're doing. And over here, I'm feeling pretty rare, medium rare, rare. And over here, I'm feeling a little more well done than over here because of the thinness of the meat compared to over here. And then taking a peek at our asparagus. Ooh, look at this. Getting some lovely color on that. Bright green, which we love. A little bit of char mark, even better. And over here for my baked potato, I think what I'm going to do, since this is getting nice and hot, is I have a little pat of butter. I'm going to add my butter to the potato now, close this back up, and let it finish going. Okay, let's see how we're doing. I think we're pretty much close to being done for our dish. Let's take a look at those fabulous diamond marks that we have. Look at that. Fantastic. And I'm feeling like we're a little bit medium rare. You can tell just by the give on the meat. So what I'm going to do is I will take this, and I'm going to move it up here for a second so we just don't... Uh, overcook that. I'm going to plate off some of our asparagus right over here. Let's grab down our baked potato. So we'll just go ahead and use our tongs to move that over right about here. And then let's take our beef, get that on the plate. Okay, and last but not least, we have our fantastic caramelized onion ragu that we made with the creme fraiche and the mascarpone and those golden, golden onions. How fabulous is this? New York strip steak grilled to perfection with the caramelized onion ragu with those fabulous flavors of mascarpone, creme fraiche, beef stock, those golden, golden caramelized onions, grilled asparagus, just a little olive oil and kosher salt, and of course, a perfectly baked potato. I don't know about you, but this makes Arizona worth living in all year round. No matter how hot the summer gets, we've got these fantastic winters to enjoy. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. So bon appetit.